Praise the Lord. Welcome to the sessions of seven prophetic blessings of the day from Kadosh Marian Ministries. According to Ephesians chapter 1 verses 18, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. This is the word of the Lord. Today's theme for the Emmanuel experience is to understand the call of God. Many are called but very few are chosen. Believe that you are a chosen one of God. Confirming and clarifying a calling to vocational ministry is a process. Even more than you want to be sure of it, God wants to help you find that assurance. God have provided relational, practical and spiritual resources to help you to understand the call of the Lord. And let us try to see some of them. Number 1 The call for the Christian is primarily into a relationship with Jesus Christ. This comes first and then your ministry flows from that commitment. Calling is the truth that God calls us to himself so decisively that everything we are, everything we do and everything we have is invested with a special devotion, dynamism and direction lived out as a response to of his summons and service number 2 allow the holy spirit to lead you one of the greatest gift god offers us is the privilege of being led by the spirit of god as a children of god we can expect to be led by the holy spirit which will provide us with the wisdom of god to make the right decisions our ability to tap into our calling is much easier when we make decisions based on the leading and guiding of the holy spirit this wisdom will allow us to make decisions today based on knowing what will happen tomorrow number 3 you must refuse to be distracted from the world in this world it is so easy to get distracted but if we want to fulfill god's calling for our lives we must refuse to be distracted particularly by advances made by the enemy According to the word of the Lord keep a close watch on how you live and on your teaching stay true what is right for the sake of your own salvation and the salvation of those who hear you four discover who you are in Christ your purpose as a believer is to build the kingdom of God your role in his kingdom will require your natural gift and talents ask christians It is important to start the exploration of calling with the call to follow Jesus. The call to belong to Christ is everything. When we belong to Jesus, we are finally able to make good look glorious in our lives. This will also empower you to live greater life in Christ. God reveals a calling only to those who accept Jesus as savior. Knowing him intimately will change you. Fifth Give God your best. If you believe that God is calling you, or if you expect a call from the God, or you are doubting that whether God may call or may not call, but remember that if that is a situation, give or get ready to give the best to God. The plan God has for your life can only be accomplished when we give the best of our time, best of our effort, best of our talents, best of our gift, and focus to our specific task god brings out the best in us when we give him our best the bible tells us fight the good fight in faith take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses number 6 trust god's plan god has a great plan for you not to harm you but to prosper you but to bless you but to raise you and keep you as a blessed child of god god knows what is the best for your life even when you can't understand his plan for you this is one of the reasons why it is so important to trust god's plan bible tells us that trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path hallelujah trusting god needs to be the first stepping stone on your faith journey 
God had a plan for you before you were born in your mother's womb. We can follow his plan by believing that he has everything in control and that his dominion will guide us exactly where he wants us to go. 7. Discover your God-given talents. As Christians, we are called to develop the talents and gifts God has given us to use. This gift will enable us through our lives and allow us to bless others. If we want to fulfill our calling, we must develop our God-given ability. Paul told Timothy to fan into the flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For the Spirit of God gave us, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Allow the Holy Spirit to work through you, praying that you will be enabled to do works that will glorify God without fear and according to His plan for us. My dear brothers and sisters, God is calling you to bless you and your household. So we are blessing you from the house of God. May you be able to respond to the call of God positively. May God help you to run a good race. May you have a heart to provide the best for God. May you be able to use your talents for God so that it will multiply. May the Holy Spirit lead your day-to-day life. May you be able to praise and worship God in every circumstances. May you be able to take up the cross and follow Jesus Christ without any selfish motives. We seal all these blessings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm Thomas George from Kadosh Marian Ministries. Thank you.